Forget everything you thought you knew about ancient technology. The pyramids weren't just tombs, they were masterclasses in climate control. We're about to expose how these colossal structures maintained ideal internal temperatures using only nature's engineering. Prepare to see how these Ishvak secrets from the past are not only relevant but critical for designing the sustainable, energy-efficient buildings of tomorrow, particularly for challenging environments like Pakistan. When you think of the Great Pyramids of Giza, what comes to mind? Massive tombs for pharaohs, incredible feats of construction, maybe even alien intervention, if you're feeling adventurous. But what if I told you one of their most brilliant secrets has nothing to do with how they were built, but how they feel inside? These architectural wonders have maintained a near constant internal temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, for over four and a half thousand years. That's right, a stable, comfortable temperature, day and night, summer and winter, in the middle of a scorching desert, where outside temperatures can swing dramatically. How did they achieve this without a single watt of electricity, without any modern HVAC systems? The answer lies in a masterful understanding of passive thermal management, and it's a lesson we desperately need to relearn today. Let's break down this ancient genius. First, consider the materials. The pyramids are primarily built from millions of limestone blocks, each weighing several tons. This incredible mass acts as a giant thermal battery. During the blistering hot days, the limestone slowly absorbs heat from the sun. But because it's so dense and thick, the heat takes a very long time to penetrate deep into the structure. By the time night falls and the desert air cools, the outer layers of the pyramid start releasing that stored heat back into the atmosphere, not inwards. This process known as thermal lag creates a massive buffer, preventing the extreme daytime heat from ever reaching the inner chambers. It's like a natural, slow-release air conditioner. But it gets even more clever. The orientation of the pyramids is no accident. They are aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. This precise alignment minimizes the surface area exposed to the harshest direct sunlight throughout the day, particularly during the peak heat of the afternoon. The angled faces of the pyramid also play a crucial role. They reflect a significant portion of the sun's radiation away, much like a well-angled sunshade. Then there's the famous outer casing. Originally, the Great Pyramid was covered in highly polished white Tura limestone, which acted like a giant mirror, reflecting away even more sunlight and keeping the core structure cooler. And what about ventilation? The pyramids aren't just solid blocks of stone, they contain a complex network of shafts and passages. While many historians believe these were purely for ritualistic or spiritual purposes, some engineers and architects now theorize they also served a practical function, creating natural air circulation. As air heats up, it rises. These shafts could have acted as thermal chimneys, drawing cooler, denser air in from lower level openings and venting hot, stale air out through higher ones. This constant gentle airflow, a process called the stack effect, would have helped regulate temperature and humidity inside the deep chambers, ensuring they remain stable and habitable. It's a beautifully simple, yet incredibly effective, system powered entirely by physics. So, what does this 4,500-year-old technology have to do with us today? Everything. We are facing a global energy crisis and a changing climate. Our modern buildings are often glass boxes that are incredibly expensive to cool in the summer and heat in the winter, relying on energy-guzzling HVAC systems that contribute to the very problem they're trying to solve. But what if we looked back to look forward? Imagine applying these pyramid principles to modern architecture, especially in countries with extreme climates like Pakistan, where scorching summers make cooling a massive expense and energy burden. Instead of just fighting the heat, we could design buildings that work with it. Think about it. Buildings constructed with high thermal mass materials like rammed earth, thick concrete, or stone. Structures with green roofs that absorb heat and provide insulation. Designs that are precisely oriented to minimize solar gain, with strategically placed windows and overhangs that provide shade, we can integrate natural ventilation systems, modern versions of those ancient shafts, to create passive cooling. These aren't futuristic fantasies. These are proven, ancient techniques that can drastically reduce our reliance on mechanical cooling. This could lead to massive energy savings, lower electricity bills for homeowners and businesses, and a significant reduction in our carbon footprint. For a place like Pakistan, developing climate resilient, Energy-efficient housing and industrial buildings isn't just an option, it's a necessity for sustainable growth. 
The secrets of the pyramids aren't about ancient mysteries or lost rituals. They are a timeless blueprint for sustainable design. They teach us that the most sophisticated technology is often the one that works in harmony with nature, not against it. By rediscovering and adapting these principles, we can build a future that is not only more comfortable and affordable but also kinder to our planet. The solutions to some of our biggest modern challenges have been standing in the desert for millennia, waiting for us to pay attention. Thanks for watching. If you found this fascinating, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. What other ancient technologies do you think could help us today? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.